Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be baking something very fun and very adorable. We are making thumbprint mushroom cookies. Don't worry, there's no actual mushrooms inside, but it's going to be a super cute kind of cottagecore vibe cookie. I am making these for one of my really good friends, baby shower coming up. And I'm really excited to try out this recipe, and I thought it would be something super fun to take you guys along with. It's been a little bit since we did like a cooking or baking episode here in my kitchen, and I'm excited to get started. First step for any great cookie is going to be creaming together our butter and sugar. So I'm going to cream together one cup of softened butter, a third a cup of brown sugar, and a third a cup of regular white sugar. I'm actually going to be using cane sugar because I'm actually out of white sugar, so we're using our good stuff. Next, I'm adding in two egg yolks, a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a teaspoon of almond extract. I don't really measure. I think it's pretty difficult to get too much of this stuff. Lastly, for our dough, we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. We have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and a half teaspoon of salt. And we don't have enough flour, so time for a quick trip to the grocery. got the flour and you know it's not a true baking episode in my kitchen without a little something going wrong right dozen cookies all rolled out and now I want to go ahead and press them down so what I'm gonna do is use like a butter wrapper and grease the bottom of my cup and then just smash them all down a little bit and then we can kind of do our little mushroom thumbprint design okay I just realized that I forgot a step so you want to roll all of your cookie dough balls into a little bit of sugar. So they're still not completely done, so I'm just going to kind of pick them up and just roll the little flattened cookie into some sugar, just like that. Now to make these into little mushrooms, what I'm gonna do is use my thumbprint as like the top mushroom part. I'm going to press down with that finger. So thumbprint and then maybe your pointer finger or your pinky for the stem. So let's make our little mushrooms. Okay, now I have my little mushroom fingerprints. I don't know how well you can see it on video. You will definitely be able to see them a little bit better. They're just like the molds to add in like our jelly and frosting to make them actually look like mushrooms. But I need to now let these chill for about 30 minutes. So you could put them in your freezer. Since it's really cold outside, I'm just gonna take them out to my sunroom because it's a cloudy, cold day and it's pretty chilly there. So I'm just gonna set them out there for 30 minutes and then we will come back and bake them. While my cookies are chilling, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 375. Good to go. Our first batch is ready to go in. So it's gonna bake for about 10 to 12 minutes probably. Okay. 
Okay, my first batch is out and the other one is in the oven. And now I'm going to go ahead and make like the little white frosting that I'm gonna use and get out my jelly. And I'm gonna let these cool for a while and then we'll work on the mushrooms. Okay, so to make this little frosting drizzle mixture, I'm going to do a half a cup of powdered sugar, one and a half tablespoons of milk, and then some almond extract. The recipe calls for vanilla, but I just love the flavor of almond extract. I just chose to do this instead, but if you really like vanilla better, then go for that. Okay, I have my first batch here I'm about to do. I put my white frosting into a bag, and I'm going to try to cut the tiniest little tip off so that I can easily kind of control it and fill it. But first, I'm gonna get out my jam and do the tops of the mushrooms with some strawberry jam. nighttime I'm coming to you guys several hours later but I kind of wanted to let the frosting dry and everything and then I had several things to do today but anyways here we are literally how cute little mushrooms I feel like there's like a little bit of a learning curve some of them are cuter than others but this is so fun it's gonna fit so cute for the theme for our baby shower I have been waiting because I really want to taste one I have to find one that's kind of not that cute. Let's go with this one. The frosting kind of dripped a little bit. Keegan, do you want to try it? Absolutely. Because they're cute, but the real test is, do they taste good? Dink. Clink. As a connoisseur of sugary things, that's pretty good. This is really good. Yeah, the wow. jelly's nice. Mm-hmm. Nice fruity touch. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy. Been a while since you've been on to taste test my, uh, did you miss me? Of course. Thank you guys for tuning in to this baking episode on my channel. I hope that you enjoyed. It's a little shorter than my normal videos, but uh, thanks for coming along. And if you baked them, I'd love to see. Send me a picture on Instagram or something. I will have the link to the Instagram account where this recipe's from. It's on a reel. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you're not already and leave a comment down below. I will see you all next time. Bye.